I'm talking all about the mitochondria today. Most of us learn that our mitochondria are those bean-shaped little batteries of the cell, those organelles within our cells that create ATP, the energy currency of our body. Now we know from researchers like Douglas Wallace that when our mitochondria aren't functioning properly, when their voltage decreases, when the amount of ATP decreases, then we see symptoms and disease ensue. Wallace has actually associated a dip in mitochondrial voltage with almost every single disease state out there. It's so vitally important that we're tending to our mitochondria. Now we know that our mitochondria create ATP in the inner membrane. So we have this outer membrane of the mitochondria and we have this inner mitochondrial membrane. It's twisted and it goes throughout that mitochondrial space. When we look at that inner mitochondrial membrane, we see the electron transport chain. This transport chain has four different com protein complexes in it the fifth complex is called ATP synthase. It almost looks like a little T, and the top of the T rotates, creating a magnetic pull that brings that last proton from the inner mitochondrial membrane space into the inner mitochondria, creating a that final ATP. And so we know that our mitochondria are producing ATP that we use for energy and signaling. It's creating uh, water that's perfectly suited for that cell-bound energetic structured water within our mitochondria and within our body. It's also creating infrared energy, which is again a wonderful way to energize that cell-bound water, which I talk about in a lot of other videos. Now, this electron transport chain we learned in school is like a straight line. It's complex one, two, three, four, and that ATP synthase. But really, it's not. It is looking more like a circle, right? It's more of a circle of these complexes coming together. And what we know is that it's not static. It's very dynamic. It changes shape and form depending on the environmental signals around it. And so researchers are calling this super complexes or ultra complexes where those protein complexes in the electron transport chain, the ETC, are coming together to create different forms where ATP is more effectively produced. Now we know that the electrons that are donated from food and um, traveling through that ETC are tunneling. They are using quantum tunneling. We know that the protons that are traveling um, from those mitochondrial membrane spaces are also tunneling, jump conducting via that structured water network. So we have this quantum biological lens looking at how those proteins in the ETC come together. It's more of a circular uh, complex and they form what researchers again are calling super complexes or ultra complexes. Now there's new research out from Douglas Wallace showing that it's not just the structures, these protein complexes that are able to, um, you know, transport these electrons and create ATP. It's an actual electrical voltage that's important to that ATP um, production and the health and function of our mitochondria. So for the first time ever, they saw, Doug Wallace and his team, um, he collaborated with some other researchers, saw that it was an actual um, charging and discharge of electrical energy that created the function that we so value in our mitochondria. So it's not just this um, chemical mechanical process Process, but it is this uh, flow of electrical charge from protein complex to protein complex, from super complex to super complex. And what we don't realize, again, with our mitochondria is that they aren't just these solitary uh, 
mitochondrions in a cell, these mitochondria are able to leave the cell. They are able to change shape um, quite readily, right? They are always doing this dynamic dance dependent on the environmental signals they were, are receiving from that cell and from the environment that that cell is in, right? We know that our mitochondria are sensitive to light. They are sensitive to sound. Frequency of our thoughts and emotions, they're also sensitive to, which I'll get into in later videos. But I just want to lay the foundation and share this new research out from Douglas Wallace showing that these different protein complexes not only acted as a battery, right? We think of these mitochondria um, as batteries, but each one of these complexes acted as singular batteries, right? making a bigger battery of such that we commonly think of as mitochondria acting. What his research found just this month is that they are acting like solitary batteries that combine to really create the function um, that we see that's so necessary and vital for our health. This electrical charge, we truly are electrical beings and this is just another layer of information and discovery that validates that. So leave me your questions down below. I'll be doing more videos on our mitochondria and uh, like and subscribe for more videos like this.